Welcome to the Weave's Guidebook, Amber Pastral. This is a return to the slaughter goal for Weaves, marking it as one of the easier ones you'll have to do, with more need for general Weave strategy than a specific strategy to get through. As will remain the case for most Weaves in Pastral, your party will want to resort to hiding in the buildings while the spawner grabs as many spawns as they're comfortable with, typically only coming back when disablers have spawned. To this end, the main spawns your spawner will want to keep in mind are the group of four assassins that spawn when you've made it halfway up the hill towards the tree in the center, and the four assassins that spawn when you've made it towards the valley past the tree. Either of these could be reasonable to use the leave and rejoin cheese, but if you have players hiding in what my group has dubbed the shack, which is the building closest to the wall on the left side, you will find that most of the assassins beeline that way anyways, leaving the spawner to their own devices. It also isn't the most dangerous weave to die on, as, if your party backs up after your death, you will be resible just on the other side of the wall, a place that you have likely already triggered all the spawns for. The portal opens incredibly quickly on this weave, so most of what you'll have to deal with is actually just making it to the portal once you've cleared out the second wave of four assassins. However, there are no more disablers to be spawned, only rattling guns, so the run can easily be made by anyone with a shield. The final battle takes place in Athol Yen Lui, over three waves. The first wave is a bannerman and a horde, the second a minotaur, a bestigore, horde, and archers, and the third another minotaur, a bannerman, three bestigore, more horde, and more archers. The first wave can be very easily dealt with by putting your back in any of the mini tunnels in the arena, but staying there once the minotaurs arrive would be questionable. Although they aren't as powerful as they will become in the highest level weaves, the archers in waves 2 and 3 are the most dangerous things on the map. If someone can safely grab the minotaur's aggro, having the rest of the party focus on removing the archers should be top priority. Keep in mind that the minotaur animations will have it do a 3 hit combo, followed quickly by another hit from one of its other animations, during which it can switch aggro, so be careful attacking it from behind. Only its charge is unblockable however, so kiting it is extremely easy if your only goal is to stay alive. It is entirely possible, and extremely helpful, to kill the first Minotaur before the second arrives, so think about bringing a lot of monster DPS in your party comp. If you find yourself needing to kite in this map, it is much better to go clockwise than counterclockwise, as this will allow you to get up each of the ramps, hang out for a second, and drop off the side to gain some breathing room and potentially a chance to fit in some damage. If you follow these tips and find you're still struggling, consider watching my Weaves guidebook and introduction video or reach out to me or any other number of players in the Ranked Weaves Discord, both of which are linked in the description below. If you thought this video was helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. More videos like this one will be going up constantly until I've covered all 160, so I'll be covering the weave you're stuck on eventually. Take care.